Hi, my name is Jennifer. I am a group exercise instructor and physical therapist. Today's Pilates class just requires a mat, maybe some water and a towel. I'm not going to play any music, so you can put on whatever music that you would like to listen to in the background or none at all. Please listen to your body. Don't do anything that causes pain. Um, and then you have to be really good about monitoring your form. So making sure that your abdominal wall um, does not poof outward, get bigger, bulge outward with the exercises. So we'll talk about that in warm up, about pulling in and getting that compression um, through that core system. So that's what you've got to kind of monitor. I will show lots of modifications. So if there's a particular exercise um, where the high risk level is not something you can stabilize, then you've got options from there. If any of the options work for you, then just go back and do something else that does feel okay do a plank, just rest during that particular exercise, okay? All right, let's get warmed up. So come on to your back. Come all the way down. Feet about hip distance apart, knees bent, hands and shoulders into the floor. So press into the floor with those hands and shoulders. Really kind of open that chest, close and lift through that pelvic floor. So basic foundation of that core system. So that group of muscles hangs into that pelvis like a hammock. Think about that lift to support those organs. That will help turn on that transverse abdominal muscle. So one of the four muscles that you've got in that anterior front of your body trunk here to stabilize. That one continues around through the low back and gives you that nice belted internal system there. So think about zipping a super tight pair of pants up, getting that belly compressed back to your spine. It's not a butt tilt. So make sure you're not getting that um, abdominal flattening just from like tucking your tailbone underneath you. Spine is kind of neutral here. Once you've got that core set, you have to breathe. So learning to breathe through that rib cage expansion to the side while you keep that core pulled in is important. Now, holding all of that in, I want you to pick up the right foot. If you need to pull that knee past your hip, you can. That's gonna make this a little bit easier if you keep that knee above your hip a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna do a lift, lift the left leg, lower the right leg, lower the left. So it's a lift, lift, lower, lower. Your back is staying put. Make sure it's not arching up off of the floor when you go to pick up that other leg. Couple more. And then I want you to start with the left leg. So left, right, left, right left, right, left, right. Keep breathing. One more. And then see if you can hold both of them up off of the mat. And I want you to do a reverse march. So you're either gonna stay here or you're gonna start with your feet on the floor and take this to a march so that one foot is in contact with the floor at all times. Tap, tap, tap. Couple more and pause that go ahead and bring those hands back behind your head come up into an ab curl the first one for today and again feet can either be up or on the floor it's up to you and I want you to twist and rotate looking down take it center twist center so this will kind of be a warm-up because we will do crisscross later One more to each side. Hold it center in your curl. Flex your feet. I want you to side bend by thinking about moving your heels towards one side of your body, pulling that rib cage down towards your hip. Center it, other side. Squeeze, center, squeeze, center. Side bend, side bend. Keep that belly down and in. One more each side. And then plant your feet down, release the head. Couple more side bends, reaching towards one foot, other foot. Reach, reach. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and 
take it center and then roll all the way down. All right, starting off here, we're going to be doing um, kind of a nice, it's, it's like a fun little series of like pressing into your knee. So with that resistance, we will be um, in an ab curl position. So the modification would be leave your head and chest down, okay? So we're gonna start off with that right leg up. You're gonna provide hand resistance, one or two, into that thigh. So you're gonna be pulling that knee physically, like force it towards you while you're resisting and pushing away, okay? That will really kind of help kick in that core a little bit harder. So that is optional. You can push a little bit, right? The harder you push, the more difficult that is. So take your breath, scoop that core nice and tight, come into an ab curl, and then I'm gonna give my leg that push of resistance. Now with the other leg, that leg's going to come up and down. So you're going to lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Couple more. And switch. I'm gonna press into my other thigh and reverse that. Tap down and up, down and up. Last couple. and release. Go ahead and release everything down for a moment. All right, so now we're gonna come back into a curl. I'm gonna resist both thighs. We're gonna do like a five second count for those holds. So again, you're trying to drive those knees right into um, your hands as you're pushing away. So get your core set, come up into that curl. My legs are hip distance. They are not squeezed um, together. Normally a lot of Pilates, we're taking advantage of that inner thigh and really getting that adductor but I want them hip distance today, okay? So you do have space there, okay? And you can point or flex your feet. I don't really care. Relax your ankles a little bit if you want. Press into those thighs. Try to pull your feet in. Two, three, four, five, and release. And again, pull. Two, three, four, five, and release. Push, pull, and release. Again, trying to drive those knees right toward your face. Three, four, five, and release. And push. Two, three, four, five, and release. And push. Two, three, four, five, and release. And one more time. Pull it. Two, three, four, five, and release it down and go ahead and relax on down. Now we're gonna go back to a sustained resistance, and this time the other arm and leg are gonna move. So once we're up, again, I'm gonna kind of start back to with my first leg and resisting that coming in. So I'm gonna extend my left arm and my left knee. So everything's gonna go lengthened and pull, okay? Actually, why don't I reverse that so then you guys can see the leg that's moving on your side. So I'm gonna start with my other side. So I'm gonna come up into my curl, I'm gonna push into that leg, that stabilizing leg, and then the other leg is gonna extend long, keep that belly down and in, do not let it poof, and then pull it in. So I'm pulling myself, trying really hard to drive that knee into my hand. Three, four, lengthen out long, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, let's do five more, five, four, three, two, how about a hold, lengthen, pull it in, resist other leg, here we go, other arm up, and lengthen out, reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. Keep resisting. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hold a couple seconds. Pull, 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 pull. Pull it in and release it down. All right, just breathe for a second. We're going to keep our head and neck in neutral. Keep having a look at my cheat sheet today. I'm kind of getting a brain fart going on. So we're going to start here with our legs up, neutral position with that spine again, and we're going to be lowering our legs, tapping down, and then kind of pulling our knees into our chest. So we're here. Again, my legs are hip distance apart. They are separated, so don't squeeze them together. All right. Belly down and in, pelvic floor nice and tight. And you're gonna start with just tapping the floor, okay? And pulling back up. So options, I can do a single leg tap, or I can start with my feet on the floor, and I can go back to a march, or maybe I wanna go back to that lift, lift, lower, lower we did in the warm up, okay? So it's up to you on which one that you are comfortable with. So we've got either single tap, or a double tap. And as you lower those legs down, again, your low back should not be lifting and arching. So if I demonstrate badly, I don't know if you can kind of see how my back just kind of arched up and I want to keep it down, okay? If that feels pretty comfortable, then we're gonna to try to take it up a notch. So as you pull those knees in, I want you to tuck your butt and try to roll that up. Now, try not to use momentum though. It's almost like I'm stopping and then pulling my butt up from there. So slow that down so that you don't use momentum. And if you are gonna do that little butt pull, I'm gonna challenge you one more little notch. See if you can take your arms overhead. Okay, so that's gonna really kind of make you compress your back a little bit more because those lats are gonna wanna kind of pop that back up. So you would tap and then pull and tap and pull. And again, I'm gonna really try to take my time. I'm gonna come up and peel down one vertebrae at a time. You're still trying to draw those knees right in towards that chest, kind of shoulder armpit area where you're aiming. Make sure you're breathing. Exhale. Exhale. One more, and hold. Now, we're gonna do a little combination. We're gonna straighten your legs. You're gonna keep them, again, hip distance apart. You can keep your arms here. You can also put them at your sides, again, for a little bit of extra stability on your back, okay? So you're gonna lower those legs down, pulling in to start, tap here, okay? Now we're gonna add a couple different um, of those pulls in here as we go along. So as you lower your legs, you're only lowering to where you can control. Maybe you're here before you come back, do a tap and back to start. Okay, so listen to your body on this one. Lower down to where you can control, come back in, tap it down and reset. Now I am gonna add my butt lift back in. So I'm gonna lower, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna pull my butt up, and then I'm back to my start. I'm gonna straighten my legs, lock my knees, nice and strong lower, pull in, tap down, lift my butt, and back to start. Straighten, lower, pull, tap, pull farther, back to start. And again, arms overhead are gonna make it a little bit harder than over your chest versus at your side. So make sure you're picking that level appropriately. Nice and strong. Really solid with your breath and your movement. Finish one more. And then release all the way down. 
All right, nice job. We're gonna move into crisscross. So again, we did that a little bit with the warm up, but now you're gonna have the leg options um, thrown in there. So level one, feet are gonna stay down. You're gonna come in your curl and rotate, looking down at your elbow. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Level two, you're gonna start to bring a leg in, aiming that elbow towards the opposite knee, and then center. Level four, those <laughs> level three, feet are gonna come up and you're gonna twist. And then that level four is where you start to get that bigger leg kick out as you twist, okay? All right, so pick your, pick your level. Get that belly nice and tight in, pelvic floor, and exhale. Inhale, center. Exhale. I want that slight pause out here for your full exhale before you switch. So make sure it's not a super quick back and forth bicycle. Very purposeful movement. Last one each side. Center and roll it down. Now we're gonna do a single leg circle with the option of having the other leg up the whole time. I don't know that I have done this in a really long time in classes. Normally we extend the bottom leg, the other leg is up, you're doing your circles from there. Okay, and that is an option. Now the leg that is on the ground, Ground it, okay? Like it should be contracted. Um, I think I tend to kind of flex on this one if I do this with my bottom leg, just kind of drive my heel into the floor. You can be pointed. What I don't want is that leg to just be like slopped and just kind of a blob hanging there, okay? So try to keep that kneecap pointed upward on this one and keep that quad really flexed, nice and tight. Now, the second option is to have both feet off the floor and up towards the ceiling. So hands are towards your side, shoulders back, get that belly nice and compressed, pelvic floor in. So you're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna be dropping that leg into my circle and I do cross behind the other leg a little bit. Okay, so you are exhaling on the way out, inhaling on the way in. So inhale in, exhale out. Okay, and your circles might be bigger or smaller than mine, so we're not gonna do the exact same number. I'm gonna count in my head how many we're gonna reverse the direction and then we'll do the other leg, okay? So if you wanna keep count of how many you're doing, do it and then you know you're kind of equal, all right? So here we go, nice long spine. I'm gonna drop that leg out and inhale on the way in. And again, my circle could be small if that's what I can control, okay? You're going to that feather edge. Trying to keep your pelvis stable. Reverse the direction. You're still inhaling on the way in, exhaling as you pull around. Inhale in, exhale around. Nice and strong leg. Pull. Pull. more and we're going to switch to the other leg so still doing inhale in exhale out yeah here we go Switch directions, inhaling in, exhaling out, keeping that pelvic floor engaged, transverse abdominal, nice and flattened. You're helping with that trunk stability with your hands into the floor, shoulders back. Couple more, keeping that pelvis stable. Finish one. 
and release them down and go ahead and relax. Kind of shake that out a little bit. All right. Oh, yeah. How can I forget this one that's coming next? Roll over. It's one of my favorites. I don't think it's anybody else's favorite, though. So, and we kind of did some prep for it already. We did some like optional knee pulls into your chest and reverse butt lifts and stuff. And that's what it starts with. So our legs are going to be straight up in the air. And then it is a sit up foot from your butt. So it's basically a reverse crunch. So you're going to be pulling your spine one vertebrae at a time, starting from the butt. And then this takes a little bit of hamstring length um, to do full out. So I will show modifications if you've not ever seen this one. If you know what to do and you know your level, go for it. Hands into the floor, shoulders nice and strong back. Get that core set. You're going to exhale, pulling one vertebrae at a time. Your butt comes up. If you have the hamstring length, you're going to touch the floor. Go shoulder width. Flex your feet. And then you're going to roll down, trying to keep your legs as close to your body as you can, coming back to start. Now, I could turn my head to the side to look at you because my pressure is never in my neck. Okay, it should always stop at the shoulders. So that's why if you're trying to touch the floor and you blow by your shoulders and your pressure's into your head and neck, that is, it's, don't sacrifice how far your legs go just because you want to touch the floor, okay? That, that doesn't matter. So modifications. I can pull up, I can go shoulder width, flex, and come down, right? I was nowhere near the floor. It's okay. All right, other modifications. I can bend my knees. I can work on just doing some butt pickups, either knee bent or coming back to just a butt lift here. Or go back and do anything your little heart desires. Roll over. Inhale and exhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. And then release it down. Nice. I love that white. It looks so pretty, but it's like super hard. It's like way harder than it looks like it should be, right? Okay. We're going to come over onto our forearms into a plank. And then we're going to do some hip movement in that plank. Okay, so there's going to be some different options um, for this, as always, right? I love modifications. Okay, so in our plank, our hip is going to be flexing and extending. So we're going to be here, okay, in our forearm plank, belly up nice and tight. We're going to be drawing our knee in, and then you're going to extend through the hip and push. Now, our butt is probably going to have to be a little bit higher than what it normally is, because if I'm in alignment with my spine, I, my knee doesn't go with my chest, right? I'm going to hit the floor. So your butt actually does end up a little bit higher than what you would normally be in a plank. So it's almost like you're headed towards a dolphin type of position. So you're trying to keep yourself as low as you can, but just knowing that you're probably going to be a little bit higher than what it would normally feel like in a plank. Now, modifications. I can come from a push-up position. Okay, for my hands, that's going to be a little bit easier um, to stabilize through. I can also come here into tabletop, into this quadruped position, and then do the same thing. Be flexing and extending through my hip. Now, that hip extension here is not a back extension. Okay, it's not dropping your belly and overarching your back. It is just hip extension. <laughs> Isolation, okay? So, pick your position of your arms. And one leg at a time, and then we'll switch. Okay, so push the floor away. Make sure you're not sagged through your shoulder blades. Push it away. Get that belly tight. Draw that knee in and extend. Squeeze your buns. Pull it in two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. Take a break if you need to off your wrist, if you were in a push-up or a quadruped. Moving right into the other side. Here we go. Get yourself into your plank. Come up just high enough to clear that knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Nine, eight, core set. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put it down. See if you can get back into your neutral hover. And lower all the way down. And we're going to go into swimming. Arms and legs extended long. Let me back it up a little bit here so you can see my arms and legs. All right, so everything is about hip distance, shoulder width apart a little bit, maybe on the arms, a little bit wider for shoulder comfort. Everything is going to be up off the floor, flutter kicking. So arms and legs. Now, create length first. So if somebody's got your wrists and your ankles, they're pulling you apart, lengthening your limbs as you lift and flutter kick. Staccato breath. Inhale for four, exhale for four. So it's a inhale, two, three, four. Kind of like the hundred is a staccato breath, okay? All right, belly up nice and tight, away from the floor, into your spine. Pelvic floor engaged. Create length through your limbs, long neck. Reach those arms and legs out and up and flutter kick. Two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Last few, hold it up, really lengthen and lift, and release it down. Give those hips a little wiggle, relax through that back. All right, now we are going to come into a side position. We're going to do gazelle first, and then we're going to go straight into hip abduction, and then we'll switch and we'll do gazelle on the other side and other hip abduction. So if you're not familiar with gazelle, um, again, I love it. It's, <laughs> I feel like the stuff I love, nobody loves. Um, it's kind of tough because you really wouldn't think it would be that hard, um, but it really does require some inner thigh strength. So you get two inner thigh lifts with then an outer thigh lift in the middle of them. So you're gonna come into this side sit Hands a little bit farther out than your shoulder because you're going to come up into a side plank. All right, and then again, I'll show modifications. So from here, you're going to push up into a side plank, modified. My knee is down on the floor. My body is in a nice long alignment here. Okay. Now, here's where the tough part comes in. You're going to try to lift that bottom thigh to thigh. Put it down. Top leg lifts. Down. Thigh to thigh. Put it down and sit. That's one rep. So what I find happens most often is that people go to lift that bottom leg and they hit flexion with it. They can't keep it neutral and adducted because their adductors are weak. So if you're facing a wall, you are not trying to knee the wall. So if I go this way a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. If I were to push up and lift, what I see is people doing this and pulling it forward as opposed to keeping it in alignment thigh to thigh. So I really want you to keep thigh to thigh, okay? 
Now, modification. If that bottom leg is just like not lifting, it doesn't matter what you're doing, you're like, yeah, that's not coming off the ground. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe do a top leg lift, hold, and then low down. So as I do my lower lift, you don't have to. You can also turn this into just an adduction. I shouldn't say just. You can turn this into an adductor exercise. So you can come onto your forearm or all the way down and you can work on doing your inner thigh alone, isolated, and then you'll join us for the outer thigh. Okay, so I hope that helps. Here we go. Lifting up, thigh to thigh, top leg, thigh to thigh, lower down. Strong press, my core is tight. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. Five. Six. Two more, we're doing eight count. Here's seven. One more, control, control, squeeze, and down. Now stay where you're at, go all the way down on your side. And we're gonna work this top leg in neutral hip, direct line with our body, nothing fancy today. Single leg lifts with some pulses, okay? So belly in nice and tight, get your hips and your shoulders stacked. So I want you to try to create some space underneath your waist where we would normally have air if your spine is truly in alignment, okay? So make sure you're not slumped into the floor, all side bent. Lift that rib cage, that waistline up a little bit, okay? All right, you can point or flex your foot. Either way, tighten your quad. And here we go. Lift one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Now we're going to pulse it. You ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, and release it down. All right, nice job. We're gonna flip around. We got all that on the other side. We've got that gazelle and then our abduction. So hand is out a little farther than the shoulder. So as you come up into your side plank, your shoulder's in a good position. Foot out. Thinking thigh to thigh as you lift that bottom leg. Get that core set. You ready? Here we go. Lift up, thigh to thigh. Top leg lift, thigh to thigh. Lower down. There's one. Here's two. Belly back. Here's three. Four. Five, six, two more. Get that pelvic floor in. Last time. And down. Lay all the way down. Get those hips and shoulders stacked. Try to keep a little space underneath that waistline so your spine is neutral. 
Here we go, pointer flex, nice and long through that leg and single lifts. One, two, There's 29 and 30 pulses up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, and release it down. Fold that in. All right, you guys are almost there. We're gonna finish with another set of planks with some hip movement, but we're gonna change it just slightly, okay? So you're gonna come around back into that forearm um, or hand push up or quadruped on those hands and knees, okay? Here we go. So from here, we're gonna get ourselves back into that strong plank position. And then we're gonna cross over underneath us. So we're gonna pull that knee across and kick it back, okay? All right, here we go. Get that corset, just enough of an elevation to clear your knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and switch legs. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, hold. And lower down. Oh, relax. I want you to reach back for one foot, stretch that quad, relax your head and chest. You guys are done. Switch to the other leg. And release that. Go ahead and flip it right on over onto your back. And let's get some of that hip and butt. Cross an ankle over. Grab hold of that top leg. Pull that in towards your chest. Nice relaxed breath. And release that, go ahead and switch it, other leg. Grab a hold of that top leg and pull that in. I'm gonna cradle mine. Again, listen to your body and how far you can pull that in. Listen to your hip. And release that down. And go ahead and roll yourself into sitting. Sit up nice and tall. Let's keep our sit bones glued into the floor. Reach over to one side and open and lengthen through the side of that rib cage. Up. 
other side. And take it center. I want you to grab those knees, tuck that tailbone round through that spine. Reverse it, sit up really tall, lift your heart, tailbone back. One more time, flex and extend. And then release it to neutral, kind of perfect posture. Take a deep breath up and exhale out. And you guys are all done. Thank you so much for joining me today. Stay safe, stay healthy. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and have a nice rest of your day.